You know, as a minister, uh, one of the most common questions that I'm asked, uh, and I believe this is true of, of a lot of ministers, um, is how can I know what God's will for my life is? And today I just want to share three quick things that you can do to help determine what God's will is for your life. In fact, they're laid out for us right together all in Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12 in verses 1 and 2. It says, uh, this is what Paul writes, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Now, this is these are two amazing verses to me, uh, two of underrated verses, uh, really, although a lot of people know them. But he says, this is how you can know what God's will for your life is. And he gives you three steps to follow. He says, if you do this, you're going to know exactly what God's will for your life is. Uh, the first one is that you present your bodies, uh, your body as a living sacrifice to God. In the Old Testament, they offered animal sacrifices. I'm so thankful that we don't have to be reminded of our sin constantly by an innocent animal being killed because I did something wrong. Jesus was the sacrifice once for all. But he does say, I want you to sacrifice yourself, not physically, but I want you to die to yourself. I want you to surrender your life to me, to yield to my Holy Spirit, to walk in obedience and be willing to say, Lord, your will and not my will. That's the first step is to say, Lord, I give you my life. I, I, I surrender. Uh, I, I die to myself. Uh, I'm going to walk in obedience. Uh, and then he says, this is your reasonable service. That's what the New King James Version says. But it's actually, that word service uh, it goes a little deeper because it's talking about temple service. Uh, so it's talking about an act of worship. Uh, so he says, your body should be offered as a sacrifice daily as an act of worship. Worship isn't something that just takes place in a church building uh, or when we're singing praise songs or when we're uh, praying. He says everything that we do is an act of worship. Uh, and so that begins the, the, the process of finding out what God's will is. Surrender to him and worship him in all that you do. Number two is that we don't allow the world to conform us. Don't be conformed to the world. You know, so many times we're we're concerned about what others think of us. We're seeking man's approval instead of God's approval. And I want to encourage you today. He's the only one that matters. He's the only thing that we need to be focused on. And I don't care what other people think of me, although sure, I battle that as well at times. But ultimately, it doesn't matter what anyone thinks of us. We only need to be trying to please God. So in order to, to not be conformed to the world, we need to have a heart set on God and pleasing Him. Uh, we need to be in the Word. Uh, I'm telling you, people, so many people today, some churches, they don't even open their Bibles anymore. Uh, let's be people of the Word. You're only going to know what God's will for you is if you're in the Word of God. Now also, uh, if you're not walking in obedience, if you're walking in sin, there's so many things that entice us. Repent, turn back to the Lord, come back to him and allow him to do what is necessary. And then finally, number three is to renew your mind so that God can transform you. You won't be transformed unless your mind is renewed first. That's one of the main battlefields, not the only one, but it's one of the main ones uh, is our mind. Uh, and so Philippians 4, 8 says that we need to think on godly things, heavenly things, things that are pure, things that are holy. Uh, that's part of the renewing our, our mind process is to make sure that our mind is where it needs to be. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter uh, 10, verses 4 and 5 uh, says that we've got to take every thought captive and make it obedient to Christ. We've got to put a filter on our mind so that our hearts can be transformed. Because Jesus says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So if you don't have a filter on your mind, it will settle in your heart, and then it'll even come out of your mouth as to what you're saying. If you're negative, uh, rude, crude, vulgar, whatever it is, it's going to come out in an ungodly way. 
So these are the three things. Offer your body as a living sacrifice. Don't be conformed to the world and let your mind be renewed so that you can be transformed. And as you do those things, God is going to reveal, reveal his will for your life. You're going to be able to walk in his plan so much more uh, than maybe you've been in the past. Uh, I encourage you to do those things. God has great plans for you. God is on the throne. Jesus is coming back soon. Let's Find out and discover what God's will for our life is by following the guidelines that Paul lays out in Romans chapter 12. I'm hoping and believing that you will have a blessed day. If you need anything, you can reach me at curtis at reachbythestream.com. Have a good one.